Cap City was no. fun. Cap City was yeah. a lot of fun. And you want to eat Chinese food and Bobby Sharon wouldn't let you. I'm going to walk up to eat Chinese food. Lee, not one person ever comes back from Austin, better yet, Texas, and says, I went to Texas and had good Chinese food. It just don't happen. Every, you know, they kill Chinese people every two years. Like, what happened to that guy? Ming, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I didn't, it was, this was before Uber Eats. You bring this up every year. It was before Uber Eats. We were in the middle of nowhere. Who eats Uber Eats anyway? Again, they go through your French fries. They stick them in their nose when they're driving, and they put them back on your plate. That's yeah, Uber Eats. Yeah, but here's the deal. You have a rule when we when you when you travel that you're eating within a block of the hotel. There's yeah. not much always within a block of the hotel. Yeah, it's, but I and over there there is. You got Papa Cito's around the corner, <laughs> and you got Papa Do's across the street. So what are you talking about? Plus, you have right. a hotel restaurant. What are you talking? Plus, I but put in you Texas. In Listen, they would give him cookies whenever he checked in. He'd take the big fucking cookies and take them to his room, like three of those Listen. chocolate. Cookies. How dare you say there was nothing to eat, cocksucker? Like you didn't know. I of course there was food to eat, and don't pretend like you weren't getting any of those cookies. Those are good double well, yeah, cookies. Yeah, but don't make believe like you took me to a hotel. I'm not saying I was starving. I'm just saying okay. I wanted to. Just... Not even a block away, guys, was Papa uh, Do's. Not even a block. It was forty yards from the door. It yeah, but how many times if you're there for four days, do you want to go to Papa Do's every day? Yes. Every. <laughs> yes. You can switch it up. You get the gumbo one day. You get the fucking other thing the other day. Then the other day, you get the salad with the crab meat and the shrimp. And then the last day, you get one of those fucking po' boys or some shit. That's it. It's very easy to mix it up. Me, I go in and eat the same fucking thing every day because that's how I roll. I'm an old man. I get the lobster bisque, move over to the fucking uh, shrimp and crab lump salad with blue cheese dressing. You couldn't finish it. I don't care what gorilla went in there with me. He could not fucking finish the salads at Papa Do's. And then we go to Papa Cito's around the corner. That was right around the corner. I was 100 yards from the hotel. And this mukiak wants to take a fucking Uber Eats with some greasy guy named Bubba to the corner of some Chinese all you could eat. Are you fucking crazy? I had enough shrimp. I wanted something different. All you could eat Chinese place. Is my man Jerry Rocha. When I was a young buck and Jerry was even a younger buck, he would take me to all you could eat. But they always had something like one place had the big shrimp and they'd fry them. I would only eat the shrimp, you know. I ain't touching right. that rice with worms and shit in it. The other place had good soup. We used to kill Chinese buffets, but they're few and far between. And you got to live there to know which ones are the ones you're not going to die from. I Listen, ended up taking. Fair, you got to assume you're going to go to the hospital. You're going to have a stomach cramp. You're going to eat something that's not good. You got to assume. If, if you don't, you're fucking retarded. It's like going to crack a barrel. You're going to eat something that's bad. It may not even belong to you. It's not even the restaurant's fault. Maybe some fat chick came up and, and dipped her finger in the fucking sauce and stuff. I, it could be a lot of things. So do you ever go to Golden Corral? Honestly, yes, I did in Burbank. And it was the fucking most inedible food you've ever seen in your life. And to top it off, the people that were in there were not from Burbank. They were like a, a mental experiment. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had a bit in the house, and then they would bring them there and tell them it was like fucking, you know, Dan Tanners or something. That was not good that night. That was not good. I can't believe not you got talked into going there. My wife and me would just move to the valley, and every Friday night we go on like date night. We and one night, you know, you you see all the ads and people are happy and they got <laughs> with the fucking with the chocolate syrup, ha 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 ha. Well, we went there and nobody was ha 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 ha. All right, everybody had a look on their fucking a look on their fucking face like they just got let loose of the fucking mental institute, and they all and the other people had a look on their face like they needed alka salsa. And I know that fucking look, all right? So I, I couldn't eat nothing. Even the fountain, the chocolate fountain they advertised with the, it was disgusting. How it can was, you mess that up? Huh? How? Why, why was it gross? It was just gross. Trust me. 
You don't want to put that shit in your body. At that time, I was a big boy. I was like 336 something. Yeah. I went in there and I was like, this don't look good. The fish don't look good. The shrimp don't look good. You know, nothing look edible. And then you look at the stiffs that are in there. And you go, look, you know, how do you think they became stiffs? They eat here one night a week. The buffets, do you, you're not really a buffet person. I think you made fun of me before for going to buffets. You know what, man? When you're younger, you love those buffets. Yeah. And one day you look at them, like for me, I had to be about 34 or something, 35. When I went to a buffet one day, I go, what am I doing? I got problems. I put drugs in my body and shit, but this, this is a different level. And guys, listen, when you're a broke comic on the road, you eat whatever. When I'm getting 600 a week and 200 for, goes to the plane ticket, you got to eat whatever you can. You know, Subway sandwiches with no meat. That was my favorite, at least even then. I always ate the veggie, veggie and cheese. I don't know what they made the cheese out of over there, but I took my chances. Could be turkey. <laughs> It could be something from a turkey, that cheese. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> you know, but you always try to, and then one day you don't need to eat that way. And you go, I'll never eat that way again. You know, I didn't just get that big for the longest yard. That was a year on the road, Lee. Eating bar food. Whatever they give you, you're broke. You know, whatever they give you. What do you, what do you got? Well, we got fried chicken and onion rings. So be it. And pack a box to go for the room. Because Law and Order, I don't want to be lonely tonight when I'm eating and watching Law and Order. It's all, you know. <clears throat> and then one day you go, you know what? I can't eat the three fucking bags a night of chips out of the out of the machine. It just starts with little conscious things. But that's great because you were probably doing shows. And like when you say broke, like you'll be lucky sometimes to like break even for, for that show. Listen, man. You know, comedy always had a, I always had to do extra things and I made it through, but you're not rocking and rolling. Like me and my wife's first date was that fucking steakhouse on La Brea. That's not even there no more. 